Hi, this is Jessica Taylor from Ink It Up with Jessica, and in this video I'm going to show you how to stamp with bleach. The first thing you're going to want to do is make a stamp pad out of bleach. So I have just a stamp case container here that I cut the lid off of, and I folded a piece of paper towel. You want to have at least eight layers, and you want it to fit pretty snug in your stamp container, but you don't want it to be really going up the sides. You want it to be just flat in there and we're just going to pour some bleach on here enough to saturate the paper towel and make this into a ink pad. Once the bleach has spread out and saturated the paper towel, you're now ready to stamp with it. A couple things about choosing stamps to stamp with bleach is I have found that it's better to choose an image like this leaf where it's not bold, it's, it's detailed, but it's not so detailed that you need to have every detail show for it to make a good image. So I'm actually going to take my Versamark ink pad here and ink up my stamp and this is just to protect my stamp. You don't have to do this step. It just keeps the bleach from really soaking into your rubber. And you can you don't need to leave the Versamark on there. You can even um, just stamp that off so that you have a light coating of Versamark on there to protect your stamp. Then I'm just going to ink up my stamp on the bleach ink pad that I made like I would with any other ink pad. Just tap gently. And then I'm going to stamp on some Wild Wasabi cardstock. And you can see that as the bleach dries, the image is going to come out. Depending on what color you stamp on, the image is going to come out a different color. So this is Wild Wasabi, and it's almost coming out kind of a grayish purple color on there. I've also stamped on some other colors to show you. This is Lucky Limeade. And this one is the first one I stamped, so it's been drying for quite a while. If you want to leave these overnight, the color will come out even more. Or even take your heat gun and just dry them quicker. This is another one on Lucky Limeade that I used kind of the detail, or not the detail, um, the bolder image for that same leaf. And you can see it just did not turn out quite as nicely. It's kind of blobby. Um, this is how it came out on Tangerine Tango cardstock. This is Bravo Burgundy. On the Melon Mambo cardstock, I tried the Big Blossom from the Betsy's Blossom stamp set, and I really did not like how this one turned out. It, it needed to have more detail in it, so I don't think that that's a good stamp to choose for this. The splatter stamp from the Welcome Kit for the Paper Pumpkin membership is a really good one for an overall splatter. This is on Rose Red cardstock. So that one is kind of a fun one for the bleaching technique. So I hope you'll give bleach stamping a try and let me know how it turns out.